these ropes off me. Thank you for your kindness, mister. I thought I was dead, man. My kindness is only as good as the bullets you can fetch up for me and your friend Irish. Let me down, and you'll be a dead man. This is gonna be one hell of a fight. Let's head for the door. Follow me.
No, you don't. Yeah. Now we're even. Half even, Shaky. You still owe me for them morphine pills to calm your nerves. Sh -sh 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 -shake. <laughs> you'll, you'll get your half. More, you dirty fu 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 fucking snake. Uh, bu 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 All right, turf. gentlemen. <laughs> Go. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, 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 fucking, fuck. Oh, fuck. my virgin ears. Fuck. All right, pop on. I'll get this out of here. Are you coming or not? Did you have fun in there, you and Shaky? I killed a lot of men for this damn machine gun of yours. I'm sorry I missed all the dramas. You always miss all the drama. There must be cobwebs growing on that holster of yours. Someone's gonna drive the wagon, don't they? Teamwork, Johnny boy. That's my game, not just the glory like you. Damn, I knew they wouldn't give up that easy. Hold them up, Johnny. I'll get you back to the car. making this a more permanent partnership. I think I've about had my fill of liars in this life, partner. Impressive, Marston. We'll have Wes Dickens's wagon rigged and ready to go soon enough. Wanna play a game of horseshoe? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Howdy, a beautiful friend. wife is no guarantee of full male potency. Thank you kindly. Come back anytime. Hello there! 
There's a change of season in there. That Marston was working as a hired killer for the government. Uh-huh. How are you? Look around as much as you want. Hello. Come on, Come in. Man, take take a look. In town. The bride's that catalog woman on Jefferson. Hello there. I'm sure you'll find something you like here. I hear Nate John's been running for governor of New Austin. I ain't never heard of him. How are you? I hear the Blackwater Ledger's gonna print about a big fire in the eight. Hello? Another satisfied customer. Good. I got what I need. Come on!
John. Marshal. Gentlemen. <clears throat> it's time. We must go. Why? What's happening? Seth has managed to get himself inside. <laughs> but we can't leave it too long, or they will soon realize how very curious he is and remove him from the premises. Or slit his throat and watch him bleed to death. But for a minute, he will delight and amuse them. That's when he'll get us inside. Okay. Marshals of the law, <clears throat> when the shooting starts, take that as your cue to start awarding each other medals. Huh? I mean, take that as a cue to get inside and clean up the mess. Oh. All I care about is Williamson. It is vital we stop him. Agreed. That man is a stone-cold killer. Williamson's a proud fool. The question is which will win out between his pride and his instinct for survival. Ensconce yourself in the back of my wagon, John, so that we can make our grand entrance. Come on, let's go. All right, good. Now just stay put till I tell you otherwise. That scoundrel Seth had better not let us down. Once we're inside and I've lulled our adversaries into a false sense of security with some beguiling sales patter, I will give you the signal. What signal? The moment you hear a sharp rap on the side of the wagon, rise like the phoenix and start shooting like you've never shot before. This is it, my dear boy. The moment of truth. Me and you, John. One last time into the breach. This is going to have to be the performance of my life. I hope my nerves don't get the better of me. I'll be honest with you, John, I'm a little jittery. John? John? It reeks of miracles back here. Thank God. I'll be ready with that machine gun, my dear boy. I'll be a sitting duck in there. My good men, <laughs> what would you say if I said immortality was at hand? What would you say if I told you I could teach you to fly? <laughs> what would you say if I told you I could turn a man into a beautiful woman? <laughs> Impossible, yes, once, but no more. Gentlemen, I bring you wisdom from the East. I have here in this wagon some of the finest goods, the best medicines, and the newest inventions available for you and your families. Exotic trinkets from the far reaches of the earth, elixirs that give vigor and strength. <laughs> and uh, for you men of physical skill and athletic physique, uh, this miraculous elixir can keep the muscles supple and relax the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of vigor and freshness to the whole system. Why, some men have reported to me that after drinking it for one month, they can chew through steel. <laughs> what the hell? It's a trap! Yeah! That pork eater can't burn no powder. Jesus. No, John! No! Come on! 